Hey guys, so let me just first say, I was so excited to flexi ride my synthetic lace front wig, being as though I have flexi ride here before and it had great results. But this hair right here, I don't know what I did wrong, but I figured I went through so much to make this video, so I'm just gonna upload it. I am separating the hair into two large sections and then taking each large section and separating it into thirds. Before applying the flexi rods, make sure your hair is completely detangled. This brush is the truth, y'all. I wish I remember where I got it or even how I got it. I don't remember how I got this brush. I had it for so many years. And the, bristle, the bristles are super rough. It's like really hard. It will cut your skin. <laughs> but um, it brushes the hair super soft and super smooth. Now how I would normally wrap the hair around the flexi rod is to take the amount of hair that you want to see in each curl after removing it. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. Like, okay, so I'm taking a small portion at a time because um, medium to small curls, they accent my face better than the big curls. So whatever, how I want the curl size to be when it falls is how much I am wrapping around the flexi rod. Also, I like to wrap the hair both frontwards and backwards simultaneously around my head so that all of my curls won't fall the same, like having it look like one big curl. I like to do that sometimes. And you guys are seeing me use this um, big old yellow <laughs> roller. It's because I ran out of flexi rod. I thought that I had more. I swore I bought more, but I can't seem to find it. So I had to improvise and use this this yellow um, curler, which I will soon regret in the future. <laughs> okay, all finished. I now have a pot of hot boiling water, and I've transferred it to a microwavable safe bowl. Y'all see the steam coming out of that bowl? It is hot. All right, so I'm placing the hair into the hot water and allowing the synthetic hair to mold itself onto the curls. And yes, I am using a cooking fork. I had to improvise. Please don't judge me. <laughs> so after about 10 minutes, um, did I use, was about 10 minutes? Yeah, about 10 minutes to saturate the hair in the water. And I decided to go even further and place a towel over the bowl and I intended to do this for like a half an hour, but I had to do other things and time got away from me. So I guess about two hours later is when I came back to remove the hair from the bowl. The hair in front that had the yellow rollers did not curl as I planned. So I guess I knew that would happen. But what I did was went over it with a curling iron. But uh, yeah, that didn't go as planned either. So like, are you kidding me? So then I just said screw it and straighten it with my um, flat iron. Y'all, 
Don't y'all just hate when your hair doesn't style the way you want to? It sucks. But anyway, please do not thumb down this video. <laughs> Thumbs up for me trying. I tried, y'all. I really, really, really did try. Y'all go through this too. Please leave me a comment and let me know your horse, your, your hair horror stories. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all and take care. Bye. I have my camera. It's like super duper dark. But yeah, this is how it this is how it looks. And um, I'm so half of me is disappointed and the other half is like whatever. You live and you learn. So yeah, that's it. And I will see you guys later.